If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, Steve, I'm here, welcome back to a brand new video, I'm a little late doing this, but I've only just got home, so I do apologise. Anyway, um, we, I think at least, we have an awful lot to talk about, I'll try and get this done as quickly as possible, I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Uh, first SBC to speak of is going to be a bit of a corker, <laughs> I'm joking, how many people have made that joke? High defensive work rate, 6 foot 3, and I mean, great sprint speed, awful acceleration, that's a shame. Uh, composure is fantastic, which is quite important actually for a centre back, as well as the agility, which is 91. He is six foot three with 91 agility. Very good short passing as well as great defensive stats. Very good physical. That's not a bad little card. Two segments, 80 rated and 84. I don't really understand the point of the 80 rated team. Just give us an 84 rated team. But either way, I don't think that's terrible. I think it's a good card. Not the easiest of cards to fit in because he is, of course, from the Turkish League, but still a decent little card. We have a flashback, Joaquin uh, of Rail Betis. His card is five-star skill moves. Very, very nice. Three-star weak foot. Wouldn't have killed them to give him four-star, but there we are. Uh, high medium, 5'10". And he's probably one of the oldest players in existence right now. 1981. That would, that would make him very old, right? Uh, anyway, 90 acceleration. Uh, 96 sprint speed, very good in front of goal, and his attack positioning is good, very good short passing, very good dribbling. The agility and the balance, what, what was he, 5'10"? Uh, agility and balance maybe could do with a little bit of a boost from a chem style. Great stamina, uh, considering he is 57. And then, of course, strength 81, actually, for a winger, not bad at all. Uh, that's a decent little card as well, actually. I mean, they are kind of 10 a penny, 80 rated and an 86 rated team. Well, I don't know how much that's coming in at, but that seems a little bit on the expensive side. But he's a five-star skiller. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a good card. Don't get me wrong. Problem with these type of cards is a lot of them come out now, and they are very similar to this. You know, if he had 95, 99 agility, different story. We're talking about one of the best cards in the game. We're not. He may suffer from the odd bit of, like, oh, why wouldn't he turn quick enough kind of situation. But, you know, take, take nothing away from him. That is a great-looking card. Great card. Is it worth it? You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. So, they were there yesterday. That was there. What else have we got? Uh, there is something that you will have seen, or you won't see, rather, uh, me complete anyway. That's new for today. A tradable rare Electrum. The 81 double came out yesterday. As did all of this. That's new for today, though, actually. Prime or Moments Icon Upgrade. Four segments. You are going to get some of the best cards in the game, but it's going to cost you an eight, two 85 rated teams, one with an inform, one without, an 86 rated team, and an 87. My days. Look at the state of the packs you get back for. What's the point? You might as well not give us packs. And then, of course, that's going to come in at, like, I don't know, 600k or something stupid. Is it worth it? In my honest opinion, not unless you have an abundance of spare coins. If you have loads and loads of spare coins, loads, and your club is stacked and you're just playing for the sake of playing these days, sure, go ahead and do it. If you're doing that in, in hope that you improve your team, honestly, I'm not sure it's worth the gamble. And there are other ways in this game to guarantee yourself a big upgrade. We'll get to those in a second. Uh, the other thing, of course, they released today was this. The La Liga 85 plus player pick. Now, I've just completed it ready, so I didn't have to cut the video in half. Because I got back, I could see... I got back late, sorry. I could see all the 6pm content, so it wasn't really a surprise. Um, Icon Swaps is going to be a surprise in which order it's in, because I don't know. I've only looked on Footbin, and I didn't see what order it was all in. But, um, yeah, that, I, I, in my opinion, anyway, is a very good value for money. Didn't mind that at all. Re really low chem, 85 rated team, player pick, which is fantastic. Fingers crossed we can get ourselves uh, a cheeky little Lionel Messi. Let's go over to the icon swaps and have a little look at this. That's icons, not icon swaps. Wait, I'm confused. So, hang on a minute, what? Okay, so they've given us new icons and I didn't even notice. So we've got Cantona. Oh, 13. 13 segments. My God. Uh, Marcel Desai. And we have Raul as well, which is, uh, I mean, that is a great selection of cards. I know Raul won't be that desirable to most, 
But, um, you know, growing up watching Raul, one of the best players in the world ever, Desai. I mean, that card I know is fantastic, so it's probably going to be expensive. But this, 13 segments. Oh, my goodness. So what are we looking at? Those two don't count. 85 rated team to get things started. 86, another 86, an 87, an 87, an 87, 88, 88, 88, three 88 rated teams, an 89, and another 89. Safe to say, I know you only get a 45k pack pack for that. Safe to say that that is going to quite literally cost you a kidney. And it's mad that the 87 rated reward is better than the 89 rated reward, which is crazy. Uh, but either way, I dread to think how much that's coming in at. That is going to be the most expensive SBC I think we've ever seen. EA wanted to make icons the most accessible they've ever been this FIFA. Their words, right? Their words. I'm going to go over to the icons. I'm on footbin. I want to know how much that's coming in at because that is, I mean, okay. Uh, according, oh, there we go. That, that's the loan. So that SBC is 3 million coins. Now, I have absolutely no idea how much the card is on the market anyway. The card on the market is 2.5 million. Fantastic. So it's going to be more expensive for you to craft that SBC than it would be to buy him on the market. Now, I know the majority of people doing this are going to have fodder to go for him. I'm not going to get into the argument of, you know, coins versus fodder and untradables and all the rest of it, but there we go. 3 million coins for the SBC or 2.5 to 3 million on the market. I I mean, is that accessible? I don't know. I'll, I'll let you be the judge. Let me know. What do you think? Is that too expensive or is that spot on? Swaps. Brand new. Nope. That's what we wanted, right? Um, th these, these just need to go. Is anyone actually doing these? Does, has anyone done them? I've not done one. I watched one. They didn't give me the token. I gave up. Uh, let's move on. So, uh, icon swaps back for 80 days. Does that take us to the end of the game? Uh, maybe. So, we have an 81 times 25 for one token. One token. Uh, okay, that's lower than normal, I think. Uh, 83 for 25, that's two tokens. 84 for 20, that's three tokens. It's a shame these aren't repeatable as well. Because if they were repeatable, I guarantee that most people would just pick up all the tokens and just do a combination of these all the way through. I know I would. Icon Moments Pack for five tokens. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, big fan of that. I mean, shame it's not a player pick, but then again, it would be more than five tokens. So that's not bad at all. Quite like this so far. Bastian Schweinsteiger for six tokens. The Moments as well. Not bad. 92 for 7. 92 plus icon moments. I mean, that's probably the majority of them. There's maybe only, what, three or four icons that aren't 92 plus as a moments? Uh, I think it eliminates Yari Lippmann and, and Inzaghi. I think that, that, there's not that many more. Maybe Nakata. I can't quite remember. Either way, Stoichkov striker moments for eight tokens. That is fantastic because that card is brilliant. 92 plus prime icon player pick. Interesting that EA put player picks above packs. So we've got 92 plus icon moments pack for seven, or you can have a prime icon player pick for nine. So they value that higher than the pack for obvious reasons. You can choose which one of the three you want, of course, assuming it's going to be three. It is. So yeah, okay. Uh, icon moments player pick is going to cost you 10, but there's no limit on that they they have got them in here it seems to be a lot more for your money uh, at the moment they're doing like one every single go george best right wing just the prime good card though 92 plus icon moments midfielder player pick interesting for 12 tokens puskas prime which is a very good card always does me dirty however uh, three star weak foot is a little bit annoying considering how good the card is it is a little bit irritating uh, an attacker moments player pick for 15 tokens. Rio Ferdinand moments. I tell you what, this is uh, it's a bit spicy, isn't it? This uh, this icon swaps. This is the best icon swaps we've had this FIFA 100%. There's so much choice. There's, there, there's, I'm looking at this. I'm actually thinking to myself, right, which one would I actually want to do? Like I'm looking at them and they're all quite desirable. Whereas the last icon swaps was the worst I think I've ever seen. I didn't really care about any of it. In fact, I didn't do the second half of icon swaps because I couldn't be bothered because the rewards weren't that great. I did the first half. I got all of the, you know, the packs at the beginning 
and then I gave up on it. Rio Ferdinand banging card. 93 plus icon moments player pick in general is very good. Patrick Vieira, I already own him, don't need that. And that's the top end for 17 tokens. It's a bit of a cop out actually that they've made it so that it's the prime rather than the moments at the top end. You'd think maybe they would just go nuts and say, hey, have the moments. That's, honestly, I think that's my only complaint for icon swaps. That is banging. I'm a big fan of all of that. I really like it. I think that's fantastic. I'm definitely doing the icon moments pack and probably all of these, which is going to be, what, six? Uh, that, th that takes me up to 11, which probably gives me, what, six tokens left? And I could probably pick up Bastian Schweinsteiger. I think there's only going to be 17 tokens. Uh, yeah, if there's 18 tokens, I'll go for a 92 plus icon moments pack, because why not? But yeah, that's pretty damn good. Before we open that pack to end the video, let me have a little look-see. Oh, there we go. Uh, we've got Sosa as well. Uh, this is uh, So this is one of those squad battles or rivals objectives. Uh, assist using Super League players in four separate matches. Score in two separate matches with... Uh, Four-star skill move players. Score a finesse goal in three separate squad battles matches on professional as well, which is quite easy, uh, with at least three, no, five super... It's been a long day. Uh, players in your starting squad. And then finally, assist with a through ball in six. So six matches, you can have yourself Sosa. Very good-looking card. Maybe the acceleration could let him down. I do know the half the stats on this. I have a qu had a quick glimpse. I forgot, though, before I looked at the objectives. But, yeah, uh, it does look like a very good card, actually, if you can link him into a team. Haven't looked at this, though. So these are all of the icon swap stuff. Uh, they've got a Liga set. We've got a Bundesliga set, French League set. How many tokens do we have all together? So one, two, three. And then there's four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. Oh, hello. No, you can get nine off the off the bat. That is pretty damn sexy, you know. So you can get yourself the icon. So you can get nine straight away. I might be wrong. Might, maybe I've counted them wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was nine. So if we go back over to swaps, what a day of content, by the way. Throw everything in my face, why don't you? So we've got five over here, eight and nine. I don't mind that, you know. Go for the Icon Moments pack, go for the 8420 pack, and then go for the 8125 pack. That's uh, nine tokens. Get all that in one go, and then save this for the next set, whichever, whenever that may be. I didn't look at the expiry date on them. And then you'll have however many tokens you'll have left. And then you can go for either Bastian Schweinsteiger or maybe this, or possibly even Stoichkov, which would be a very good player. Tell you what, a lot to think about. You could even go for the 92 Prime Icon. No, I don't, I don't even like that, to be honest. Yeah, a lot, lot to ponder there. Let me know in the comments what you plan on going at, or going for, I should say, uh, because there's an awful lot of good stuff there. Big fan of that. There actually was a team released as well uh, for the Super League team of the season. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i saying that. I don't, I've don't. i not actually seen it, so I don't know. Uh, I still haven't looked at the um, Saudi team of the season, actually. Uh, before we open this player pick, what I'll do very briefly is... Go over to uh, Footbin. Is that going to be better if I do this? Eh, not really. So we'll stay with this. So just the, the starting 11. Uh, we don't have any subs or anything like that. So Macau looks decent, actually. Very fast Brazilian centre-back for about 44k. None of these are really expensive. The most expensive player is Davidson at 130,000 coins. They've been out for just under an hour. He does look like a very good card, actually. Very good dribbling and physical pace, shooting, all the rest of it. Definitely the best card. He's still only 130k. Abubakar looks decent. So, yeah, a few players in there to choose from. Uh, the French right back doesn't look terrible. And uh, I would imagine he's going to be quite cheap. Look at how cheap G Gazal is. The Algerian right wing from Besiktas. He doesn't look terrible. I mean, for an 86 anyway. He's up at 30k. Uh, let's go back. And finally, to complete the video... Open up my one of three 85 plus La Liga player pick. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get Luka Modric or Tony Kroos. But either way, I would be very grateful, EA, if I could have a team of the season. I, I don't care who it is. Just any team of the season, please. We got one. We got two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for Benzema then, I guess. Gerard Moreno is, I think, the worst one. Benzema is the second highest rated team of the season card. The only reason why I'm not stupidly excited about this is because I know full well 
I mean, he'll be very good in game. Don't get me wrong. I just got. I don't know what. I don't know what it is. They just don't make Benzema's card in game very good. Look how expensive that card is. Woo! Uh, it doesn't make me any happier about it. Like I'm. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. And I'm definitely chuffed that it was there, cons uh, considering Gerard Moreno was the other one. Four star, four star, medium, low. I've used other Benzema cards, and I know that this is what two overall higher than his headliner. I think it looks like an absolutely phenomenal card on paper. I am very happy about it, don't get me wrong. I just hope that with a little bit of a boost to that agility, he is going to feel that extra bit special in game. I, I just hope he can move. That's my only problem, my only worry. I haven't used the 95. I think I used like a 92 or a 93 version of the card, and I had a little bit of mobility issue. That's a long time ago with a lot of ratings in between. So hopefully this one feels a lot better. What a player pick that is. Let me know, did you get anything as good as that? I know there are more desirable cards in Team of the Season, but I am quite pleased with that. Don't get me wrong. Let me know what you think of the content. What are you going to go for in swaps? Are you going to go for Sosa the objective? Are you going to do the icon uh, non-repeatable SBC that we got today? I think it's only there for a few days. And of course, if you did do the player pick, let me know what you got as well. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, goodbye.